Hello everybody, welcome back to a another video. I guess you could call this my official comeback to YouTube, because from now on I will be posting weekly. I do not know when, but more than likely every Tuesday. Today is my first video back, and today we will be ranking every single Camp Camp episode from worst to best. This is easily my favorite YouTube show with that, you know, is on YouTube. It, it revolves around three campers that, that were just on the screen as they go around a crappy little camp that that is so cheap that they their quartermaster has a frickin' hook for a hand. That's David, Cameron Campbell, and Gwen. Now, every episode that you see on screen currently will be ranked. Aside from aside from the bottom episode right there, and and that episode right there. Now, the ranking will be simple. Only episodes that are available on YouTube will be counted, and and no special episodes. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and begin. Number 37, Mind Freakers. Neil Harrison performs a trick that confuses Neil so much that he's obsessed with finding out how he did it. And that's basically the entire episode, and it's pretty not good. I mean, it's just no. Number 36. Something fishy. Gwen meets her fantasy fish boy and falls in love with him immediately and becomes a, a slightly less happy version of David and, you know, actually participates. The reason why this episode is so low on the list, not because it's bad, just because it's mediocre. In my opinion, the only bad video was Mind Freakers because of how, you know, simple it was and how it was just basically one thing. It was so stupid and I hated it. But then again, these are just my opinions. Okay, coming in at number... 35 is Arid Gets Her Cool Back. This is one of those episodes where it's like, okay, I mean, it's not bad, it's not good either. Not quite mediocre. Well, it's pretty mediocre, but still. In my opinion, it's not so, you know, amazing. Number 34, Jeremy Farts. Just no. Number 33, Escape from Camp Campbell. Ep as being episode 1, it's obviously not going to be the best. But it gives you an impression on what the rest of the show will be like. But... Uh, it's just... No, in my opinion, it's okay, but there are much, much better episodes than Escape from Camp Campbell. I'm sorry, but no. Uh, number 32 is, uh, hold up, Mascot. Yeah, it's, um... Quite simple, the um, the camp mascot dies due to a um, upsetting accident, and they have to find a new mascot. Like the first, like the first episode, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Being the earlier in the show, it's just all right. 
the uh, Camp Cool Kids is number 31. I just believed that this episode was going to be better than it was going in with the synopsis that I read, which was... Camp counselors are are tied up and left and left for dead when the campers take over the camp. I believe that's what it was. It's been a while. I, I don't think the left for dead part was right because they're not left for dead. Anyway. The campers take over the take over the camp and they vote for Arid to be the captain. And so, so Max starts his own little camp pack or whatever it's called. I don't remember. It's been a while since I last watched this episode. I just remembered that this episode wasn't great. But it wasn't bad either, so. Um, 4 out of 10. Yeah, solid 4 out of 10. Number 30. Romeo and Juliet 2. Hold up. Love Resurrected. It's basically the theater kid wants to, wants to create a play using everyone, and so he decides to make a sequel, Romeo and Juliet, and make it his own, and just, in my opinion, worse. Oh, and she's making the G space right there. Anyway. Yeah, this gets a solid... Uh, 4.2 out of 10. Number 29. David Gets Hard. This is an episode that centered, that centered mostly around Nerf and David. With David trying to find a way to get to Nerf without being David. By getting tough and being quote-unquote hard. This episode is alright. It's not perfect. It's not bad. But this is one of the most okay of the entire series. In my opinion, being the worst okay of the entire series. Number 28, The Fundraiser. The camp runs out of funds, and, the, and so they are forced to find a way to, to earn money through a fundraiser. And they call it the fundraiser. They're trying to earn money. That's basically it. And in the end, the Gwen and David get beat silly by the corn master. And then that gives them a bunch of money. That earns them a bunch of money to, like, um... Um, get the camp back in shape. Nikki's last day on Earth. Nikki thinks she's not, which is number 27. Nikki thinks she's dying, and so she knocks a bunch of stuff off her bucket list. And really, in the end, they find out that no, she's not gonna die and we'll be fine, so, it just feels pointless, but it's a pretty entertaining episode, seeing what Nikki would want to do before she dies. Number 26, Dial M for Jasper. This is an episode that goes around, and, and we finally get to see David's past with a past friend named Jasper. Jasper is an annoying little brat who hates Camp Campbell, just like Max. But David has hope for it, and in the end we find out that 
they went to Spooky Island to get something for, for Mr. Campbell. But it's, it turns out that Jasper never returned from that trip. And the only one that came back was David. Cameron Campbell, the Camp Campbell Camper, is our number 25 spot. Cameron Campbell pretends to be a camper at Camp Campbell to try and get away from the law. That's it. That's it. Number 24. Journey to Spooky Island. They go to well, Spooky Island, and that's about it. <laughs> that's basically the entire episode. Pretty self-explanatory. <coughs> Reginy Day. One episode that I actually haven't watched, so I can't really give a full opinion on it, so I just threw it somewhere on the list, and it landed on our number, tw our number 23 spot. So... That's about it. <laughs> really, that's it. Number 22, Into Town. This is a really good episode with a really good ending. The reason why I put it at number 23 is because there are better episodes than this one. Like, Parents' Day. Or, the season 3 finale. Those are just two examples that, spoiler alert, are going to be pretty low on the list because they're good episodes. Number 21, Campery. There are com there is a competition that is held between camps to see which one is better, and... Spoiler alert. I haven't watched this episode. Yeah, so I can't say who wins or not. Um, once again, just like... Just like number 23, this is an episode I haven't watched. I apologize, but... It is time for our next one. <laughs> Number 20, Order of the Sparrow. This is an, an episode that is one of the better ones, in my opinion, with a good, with a good meaning behind it, and honestly, a really nice message about having to try even when no one else is. I think it's a good episode that deserves more attention. That's why it is at our number 20. Number. Are we at number 20 or 19? We're just gonna say we're at number 20. Number 19 Anti Social Network. Neil gets a bunch of calculators and mods them to the point where there's a little there's a little mobile Neil in him in it, so people will stop bugging him and he can mess with the computer that he found. It's a pretty good episode, not gonna lie. I like it. And spoiler alert, the robot calculator Neil is a bad guy. Number eighteen, Colt Camp. David accidentally hires a cultist for, to be assistant counselor when Gwen goes away to on a vacation to um, spend a bunch of money that she found with in Camp Cam in Mr. Campbell's safe. Number number seventeen, Quest to Sleepy Peak. Haven't watched it. Number 16, Quartermaster Appreciation Day. Pretty self-explanatory. Number 16, Bonjour Bon Uh, it centers around David's ex. That's it. They try to get David's ex back with them. Number 15, Gwen gets a real job. Gwen gets a real job. Eggs Benefits is number 14. 
This is an episode that I have watched, but don't remember what happened in it. I'll have to rewatch it to actually have a fair opinion on it, but I'll have to come back to that. Number 13, Space Camp was a hoax. It's simple. They try to fake... They try to fake Space Kid going to camp. Going... Going to the moon. Cooking cookies is number 12. The Flower Scouts become drug cartels. Number 11, Culture Day. I don't like talking about this episode. Number 10, Foreign Exchange. A bunch of foreign exchange campers come by to get stuff that Cameron Campbell promised their homelands, but never gave to them. It's a pretty good episode, I must say. But now we're in the top five. And we have nine episodes remaining. So let's spare no time. The Lake Lilac Summer The Lake The Lake Lilac Summer Social. It's basically like a camp party. The Candy King Pen. Max is number eight. Max starts starts selling candy to the other campers. Surviving the city. Round two and at Into the Town. That's about it. But it's pretty good. Operation Charlie Tango Foxtrot. This is another episode that I haven't watched. I'm really sorry about these, but I have watched most the most the episodes, so that's good, right? Number six, Jasper dies at the end. It's another story about Jasper. Number five is Scout's Dishonor, the last episode that I swear I did not watch. I deeply apologize. Y'all, I'm quite confused right now because I we're, there's supposed to be four left, but there's only two that we haven't done. So, um, I messed up somewhere. Anyway, coming in at number two, we have Camp Corp. The season three finale, that would have been a great ending to the show. Well, it was a great ending to the show on YouTube. On RoosterTeeth.com, there's another season. But... We're just going to call it the season. We're just going to call it the series finale for now. The series finale is about Max understanding to actually care. Which is a great message. And... But... While a good episode... Max has a better episode. Which is in... Parents' Day. Which is number one. Parents' Day is... To basically, the parents come over to the camp, and everything basically goes south. But the worst thing that happens is what David finds out about Max. Max doesn't have an activity. He was just sent to the camp. That's it. His parents just wanted him gone. So they sent him away. To probably the cheapest place they could find. Which is sad. But besides that, this episode is actually pretty good. Plus, the sad and heartbreaking at the end, which, not gonna lie, almost made me cry. Emphasis on almost. And that was our list, everybody. How did you enjoy it? I thought it was pretty fun. Besides the fact that we prop, but besides the fact that we missed two episodes. I honestly don't know what happened there. Anyway. It could have been just a miscount. Anyway. That's the entire video. And I have a video that will be scheduled for July 1st. That will be my next video. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. My next video will be on June 1st, which will be 
which will be episode one of my podcast, which is called The Cringe Cast, which you can go and listen to on Spoon the exact same day. But sadly, that will be the only episode that is ava- that will be available on YouTube. If you want to go listen to the other episodes, you'll have to go to Spoon. Anyway, bye bye